Hello Nigerians, fellow parents, daughters of my ancestral grandmothers and sons of my ancestral grandfathers. My name is Valentine Bengala and I am a Quara. And I can say that I'm a, stake quara, I'm a stakeholder in Quara State. In this uh, time, or at this time of our life when the whole country is in a political turmoil, economic crisis, cultural maneuvering and all that, Another election is coming up in the next uh, 365 days or thereabout, 2019 to be precise. A time when you have to take your fate into your hands. Be responsible for and also be responsible to. A time when we have to make decisions for what is going to happen to the unborn generation. I talk to you for moral justification of all our responsibilities that the issue of leadership does not lie in the hands of those who are at the hands of affair alone but also there's a selective process that makes you responsible for who becomes your leader irrespective of any of their electoral maneuvering do you know that when you decide to fold your hands and do nothing about who is going to govern you you are going to be governed by the rules but that they make when you refuse to be a part of the selective process, you are going to be a part of the number that will have to be subjected to their whims and caprices. Fellow quarans out there, I want to use this opportunity to tell you that you can be a part of it. Go and get your PVC. When you get, when you get your PVC, make sure you keep it. Now, there are other things that are attached to getting a PVC that is not usually discussed, whether on the television, on the radio, or even on the social media which are the other responsibilities attached to the selective process. Do you know that you can also become so vigilant and uh, have intellectual capacity to report issues to the appropriate quarters? Do you know that you can avoid some issues that can cause um, problem in the electoral process? Do you know that you can prevent them? When you notice that somebody has done something that is terrible, do you know that you can report to the appropriate quarters? Do you know that if you know of a printing or publishing company that is trying to print electoral materials, do you know that you can report to the appropriate quarters? And also to the government. Do we even do a background check on all the peoples that we take as leaders? Are uh, some of them not ex-convicts? Cultists? People who have been in, involved in all sorts of nefarious activities. But this is to you, Quarans. Let us look back at where we were growing up, when education was at its best. Quara State has been one of the cradle and the citadel of learning. But today, education is nothing to write home about. Health is nothing to write home about. It is a time when you have to choose your leaders. And the selective process starts from you getting your PVC. This is not about just uh, being a member of a political party. If you have somebody who is contesting under a party that you know that you are also a member but you know the person cannot deliver, why not for, vote for somebody who belongs to another party? I am begging all of you, Quarans, that we should do whatever we are supposed to do in this selective process go and get your pvc and make sure that you choose the right person my name is valentine benga Ola Sende. i'm not contesting in this coming election 2019 but by the grace of god i will be part of the election come 2023 if it can be me it can be you leadership is for all of us but just at different levels